Hey guys! I know I've been a little MIA and I apologize. Like I said in a lot of my videos, I am very bad at committing myself to videos. So that's where we're at right now. You might be able to see a little mess back there, but for the most part, my room is nice, so I don't really have a problem with having like conflicting colors, things like that. Um, so I thought I would get back into filming, maybe. We're gonna take it slow. I wanted to do a little um, review and swatch video on the Lorac California Dreaming Palette. First and foremost, the packaging is really adorable. That's kind of what drew me into the product, which is kind of weird, I know, because the product should draw me into the product, but this packaging is super adorable. Um, so it just says California Dreaming here. It has all these really cool little decals. It's all inspired by California. This is the back, so it has all the colors here. A little story about the um, palette and the inspiration behind the palette. Um, this comes with 12 shades, a mixture of matte and shimmer. There is a good range of colors, so you can definitely create a full eye look with just one palette. It does have 9.72 grams of product. So originally this palette is $30. It is on sale right now at Ulta for $18, and that's actually why I picked it up. I saw it in the store, and I liked a few of the colors in it, but I thought $30 was a little much. So when it went on sale, I was like... Hello, I'm gonna buy you today. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I have had this makeup on for quite some time today, um, so I apologize if anything looks a little out of whack. So what I wanna do first is just talk about the palette a little bit. I used it today for the first time, so I have some first impressions already on it, and I just wanna tell you a little bit about that. Um, this is the actual palette. What I showed you before was the box. This is the palette, but it has all those same decals. It doesn't say California Dreaming anywhere on it, which I find a little bit odd, and I notice other people have said that as well, but I don't know what that's about. Um, you kind of just gotta remember what the name of the palette is, I guess, if you throw away the box. I'll show you what the inside looks like. So it does have a mirror here with more of the decals. It's a good sized mirror, and then these are the shadows. So like I said, it has 12 shades, it does have from lightest to darkest, so you can, you do have a good range here. Um, sorry, it's a little messy. We'll get into that, actually. It is a little bit different for me, personally. I tend to go towards more warm-toned eyeshadows, browns, oranges, golds. This doesn't have any of that, so this is kind of out of my comfort zone, out of the box for me. Um, definitely a lot of mauves in here, pinky, t pinky tones. Um, yeah, totally out of my comfort zone, but I thought it was pretty. I liked the packaging, so and it was on sale, um, so that's why I picked it up. I will say, while it is beautiful and the colors are gorgeous, I don't love this palette. There is a lot, and when I say a lot, you know, I have a good number of palettes in my drawer. There is a lot of fallout. So I'll just show you a close-up of what I mean. It's all over the palette. There's a lot on the brush, and when I tap, a lot of product comes off, and it keeps going off. Oof, that's something I kind of don't like in a product. For a number of reasons, um, it is gonna make it so that I go through the product faster. I'm looking at my phone now, because of all that fallout. <sighs> because now, even though I'm picking up eyeshadow for one application, I'm basically picking up eyeshadow for like three or four applications because of all the fallout. They are very, very powdery, and. Every color that I used today did the same exact thing, except for Kitty Cat, because that's more of like a metallic, so it wasn't, you know, super powdery. But, but in Hot Toddy, I'll go through all the colors later. Um, those were all super powdery, super, a lot of fallout. And even though I tapped my brush off before I applied it to my eyes, I still had fallout on my cheek. And of course, today was the one day where I actually did my foundation before my eyes, which is not the norm. But of course, that was today, so... I had a bunch of fallout on my cheeks. I had to keep going back in with concealer and dusting that off. And that's just kind of frustrating. Um, I want the product to be on my eyes and not falling onto my cheeks. So I didn't love that part of the um, palette. Also, I felt like I had to keep going back in because when I would go to, go to apply the eyeshadow, it would just kind of dust off. They did blend beautifully. I will say that. So don't, you know, if you have trouble blending with eyeshadows, this palette will still be good for you. It's not like you put the product on and then it stays exactly where you put it. There's definitely blendability in there. Probably because they're so soft and powdery. They're not like really 
super pigmented like creamy eyeshadows like I'm think I don't know I have a couple other palettes in mind where I pick up the color put it on my eye and it's like stuck there like that's hard to blend out but with this super easy to blend out the colors are gorgeous you have something that's really light the whites you have a dark one right here um I will say that there's even though that they say that there's matte shades in here I will say that I only really see three three or four there's some super metallics, there's some mattes, and then there's some like satin pearly finishes. So it's kind of hard because I'm the type of person that doesn't really like to put a satin pearly finish in my crease, but there's not a lot of options here. So for example, button, right now it might look matte because it's not as metallic as kitty cat, or kitty, yeah, kitty cat, but there is definitely a sheen in this one. So it's a little, you know, you gotta kind of adjust to it and figure out how, to, how you want to use it. It could definitely be a lid shade and it would be gorgeous, but that's really the only transition color I see in the palette other than um, Starfish, but Starfish also has a little bit of a sheen. So that's kind of a downfall as well. Again, it's going to take some getting used to for me because I'm not one to go for the mauve cool toned shades, but I used it today. I do, I like it. It's different. Um... So I'm going to play with it more. I, only, I didn't use the entire palette today, obviously, so I want to go into the other colors and see how those apply. But today we are going to swatch the whole palette. We're going to swatch products on my arm. Um, I'm going to start from left to right, top to bottom. I'll show you the product up close, me swatching it. So I'm going to start with Sandcastle. It's this light, kind of white, shimmery shade. It has... Yeah, it definitely has a sheen to it, and it kind of has like a golden sheen, but it's more on the white side. I really like that color for the inner corner. I used that color today. Now we're going to move on to button. So that is button right there. I do love that color. It's really pretty. Now we're going to move on to overcast, which is a matte, dusty purple. So that is overcast, very pretty. And the last one on the top row is Bonfire. It's a matte, baby, dusty pink. So that is Bonfire. Now we're gonna move on to the second row. So the first color in the second row is Hot Toddy. Looks like a rose, like a pinky rose. So I'm gonna swatch that right here. That one is really pretty. I used that today in my crease to warm it up because I do like those warms. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, we're getting into the warms. Let's do it. The next color in this row is Starfish. More of like an, oh, this one actually is pretty warm. So that is Starfish. That one is actually really pretty. Okay, so these ones are more on the warm side. I didn't really realize. I kind of geared towards the mauves because I wanted to try something different today. The next color is Seaside, and this is the dark sparkly green. So it's a green, but it has some gold sparkles in it. It's not too pigmented, but I almost don't mind that because I feel like a color like that, you want it to be able to smoke out and be really pretty. But I like how it has that green sparkle. That could be a cool like play on a smoky eye. Doing a green instead of a black or a brown, you can do like this dark green. I don't know. The last color in the second row is called Cable Knit. It's a matte, brownish, burgundy-ish color. I'm so bad at describing these. I love that one. I used that in my crease today too because I thought it was super pretty. I'm gonna move on to the other arm because we kind of ran out of room there. Um, so we're gonna start here. And the first color in the last row is called Cozy. Looks like this. It is a matte um, skin tone color. So that color is really good for putting all over the um, lid after you put your primer on because it'll just set the primer really well. So that's Cozy. Then we have Boots, which this is the dark darkest color in the palette. It's a really, really darkened, blackened navy blue. Um, and it does have an interesting kind of duochrome finish to it. Wow, that's super pretty. It looks black right now, but it has a sheen to it that you can't really tell if it's gold or silver or like burgundy. I don't know, it's super interesting. Now, Kitty Cat, which is this color right here, is actually what drew me to this palette. I thought that was gorgeous. I love ultra metallic colors that are like 
beyond pigmented. Like even just that swatch right there, that is just so pigmented and beautiful. And I love that it's just ultra metallic, ultra gorgeous right here. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my god, I love it. That's what I have on my lid today, of course, because that was like the color that drew me to the palette. I couldn't not wear it. And then the last color in the palette is called 65 Degrees. I wish it was 65 Degrees. Ugh, this weather is terrible. So that, you can barely see, it is a very light peachy pink metallic color. Here we have Sandcastle, Button, Overcast, Bonfire, Hot Toddy, Starfish, Seaside, Cable Knit. We have Cozy, Boots, Kitty Cat, and 65 Degrees. I love the colors, don't love the formula, but it's not terrible. I love the packaging. The size of the shadows are really nice. It's a good amount of, you know, you get a good amount of product, but with that, you're going to be wasting a lot of product with all the fallout you're going to have. So really quick, before I go, I actually went through and did a tutorial on this look on my Instagram story today. I obviously can't do a tutorial right now, but since I already kind of filmed it, I will show you really quickly on my story what I did this morning. My Instagram, by the way, is Beauty by Chelsea Day, and that's D-A-E, not Y. That's where I post all of my makeup pictures. I do own a business where I do makeup, so that's where I post all that fun stuff. Um, so definitely go follow me because Instagram is probably where I'm the most active, definitely, compared to YouTube, definitely Instagram. So this is my story. So I just showed the palette, and then we're gonna get right into me using it. So I'm just taking that color button and bringing that into my crease. So I did use it in my crease, even though it's that satin kind of finish. Um, what else? Then I went into Hot Toddy and brought that into my crease as well to warm it up. Focused it more on the outer corner. And then I took Cable Knit to darken up the outer corner even more. And that is like one of my favorite colors in the palette. And now this is where we take my favorite color, Kitty Cat, on a small shadow brush. Look how beautiful. And I put that all over the lid and that just like made the look go from 0 to 100 real quick. So then I took um, that light color, what was that called again, Sand, Sand Castle, and I put that in my inner corner. Now this one was super powdery, so I got a lot of product deposited onto my inner corner, even though I tapped the brush. Um, so I had to kind of like blend that out with my finger, but that was okay. Uh, I went and took all the colors that I used in my crease and put those onto the lower lash line. This is so interesting to like be showing a video in a video. So here I'm just blending and blending and blending and blending <laughs> that is the final look from this morning so you kind of get an idea of how it looked when it was actually first done let's see oh look at me being all extra and my lip was Ofra Pasadena so if you're interested in seeing tutorials like that and stuff or just talking about makeup then definitely follow me on my Instagram all right guys so that is my review demo kind of like demoception and swatch video on the Lorac California Dreaming palette. I can't get over the packaging. I think it's so fun and like just different, colorful and fun. Like a lot of palettes are just, you know, one color and just, they're pretty, but this kind of like calls into my crazy, crazy personality. Um, definitely, if you find an Ulta that still has this, I know this is probably like shitty of me to be telling you about a palette that might be sold out soon because of the sale, but if you watch this video and you're like, oh my god, I love that, then try to find it because it is on sale. And it's on sale online and in the store, so if you can't find it in your store, go online because I'm sure that they'll have more online than they would in store, if that makes sense. I do love Lorac as a brand. I have like four or five of their palettes. I have the Lorac Pro, Lorac Pro 2, the Lorac Mega Pro 2, and the Lorac Mega Pro three. And I am obsessed with all four of those palettes. They're absolutely beautiful. I actually use the two mega palettes in my professional makeup kit all the time. Love, love, love those. They do have a bit of fallout, but not as much as this one. And that's why I think this bothered me so much with the fallout because I've used other Lorac products and they really don't 
you know, powder up as much as this one did. So I don't know if it was just, you know, this specific palette. Maybe it was a different formula than their regular shadows. So this is the original Lorac Pro palette. Used and abused for sure. But let's see. Let's just go like into taupe. So yeah, there's like barely any fallout there. And that's like one of my favorite colors. <sighs> Obviously this palette is a favorite of mine in general. That is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll see me again soon. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and go follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.